We're going to go over everything about the personal hotspot that you need to know. How to configure it, how to set it up, and what it is. To start, personal hotspot, you could think of it as a Wi-Fi signal. So you turn it on on your phone, and what it does is it allows other devices to connect to your phone like it's a Wi-Fi router. So you would be able to see it, select it, and then you'll have internet access through that phone. So say you have an iPad that doesn't have any connection and you need to get connected, you can set it up this way. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor, smack that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and just dive into this. Let's go ahead and choose settings. And then we're going to go ahead and choose personal hotspot. So here we are. To turn it on, you want to simply hit the button and it should look like this. If for some reason it doesn't allow you to turn it on or you get a message, it could be an issue with your current plan with your carrier. Not all plans do have this option and some you have to pay extra. Also, sometimes they limit you on how much you can go ahead and use. If that's the case, I do have another video I'll go ahead and post up top just to kind of show you ways around that. Then you have the Wi-Fi password, which is some crazy symbols and everything like that. The cool thing is if you tap on it, you can hit the X here and you can change it to something a lot easier. I'm just going to turn mine to hotspot one it has to be at least eight characters. And if you do change this and you have other devices that were already connected, you will have to put this password in again. Also, if you want to have people that were connecting you not connect anymore and you want to keep it on, just change this password. I recommend hotspot two. Now there are a lot of different ways to go ahead and connect. It'll tell you here if you are sharing an iCloud connection with a, another device, it'll just go ahead and allow you to connect. Also, you can connect through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or USB. Majority of the time is going to be Wi-Fi. So on the other device, all you would do is basically go to your Wi-Fi and you would see it here. We're not going to see it because this is the same device, but you'd see it here. You'd select it. I would enter hotspot one and then I would be connected with the personal hotspot. Some people don't like to keep this on because it does go ahead and hurt your battery. So people turn it off unless they're going to use it, especially if you're not using it, keep it off. There is a nice little trick. If we go ahead and back to the main screen, uh, you'll either pull up from the bottom if you have an iPhone eight or lower. Or if you have a 10 or up, just pull down from the right side. You'll see these options. You'll see hotspot is the one in green. Just hold down on it and it'll pop up here. And here you can go ahead and choose what you would like. There we go. Hotspot is now on. And to turn it back off. There we go. It's off. You don't want to mess with too much stuff here. You don't want to turn airplane mode on because that will stop you from getting connection. You don't want to turn cellular data off because that will also stop you from getting connection. And the others are up to you. But you definitely want to leave the first two alone. And that's how you can go ahead and turn hotspot off real quickly so you don't have to worry about losing any battery or anything like that. It's as simple as that. I hope you did enjoy this video. I do have some more you can check out. I'll go ahead and put them here. And I want to thank you so much for the view.